Let's take a look at some equations that look a little bit different than maybe what we're used to. So this is a uh, fraction, and we have a difference in the top, the numerator, and just one number in the bottom. So when we work on this, we're actually going to go ahead and think of the top as if it's in parentheses. That's group, so we can't get rid of the group, but we can get rid of what's being divided by. So we're going to go ahead and take this first step as multiply by 2. We're going to do that on both sides of our equation. We can't break up the top of our fraction until we get rid of the denominator. So this on the left side will give us negative 8. Then on the right side, our 2's cancel out. And now we're left with just 3x minus 20. This is now just a two-step equation that we should be familiar with working on. We're going to add 20 to both sides. And then we have a one-step equation, divide by 3. The value of x will be 4. And we can check that in. We plug it back in. You can plug it in by saying, okay, 3 times 4 minus 20 divided by 2 should equal negative 4. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 20 divided by 2 should equal negative 4. 12 minus 20 is negative 8. Negative 8 divided by 2 does equal negative 4. So that all checks out. We'll take a look at number 2. The process is the same. We're going to go ahead and in this case our denominator, denominator happens to be the same as well, but we're going to multiply by 2 to clear our fraction. On the right side, those 2's cancel out. On the left side, we have negative 4 equals 3x plus 8. We'll subtract 8 as we work on this two-step equation. Careful with your integers. You'll get negative 12 equals 3x. Divide by 3. And we'll have negative 4. The next one is a word problem practice, so we'll take a look at that. Deshaun and Ashley each opened a savings account today. Deshaun opened his account with a starting amount of $900, and he's going to take out $55 per month. Ashley opened her account with a starting amount of $999. She is going to take out $70 per month. Let X be the number of months after today. For each account, write the expression for the amount of money in the, in the account after X months. So first we'll work with Deshaun's account. So Deshaun opened his account with a starting amount of $900. So he put $900 in his account. He's going to take out $50 per month. If you're taking something out, you're subtracting it. So we're going to have minus. $55. And it says per month. Per is a fancy way to say multiplication. So we're multiplying the $55 times each month that he takes the money out. So it tells us that x should be the number of months. So I'm going to just put a little x there. That's the expression that represents what Deshaun is doing with his money in his savings account. Ashley's expression is similar. She started with $990, and she is going to take out, subtract, $70 per month. Part B says write an equation to show when the two accounts would have the same amount of money. Write an equation. If we write an equation that shows the two accounts have the same amount of money, we're saying that the two accounts are equal to each other. So for part B, all we have to do is take the two expressions that we already wrote for Deshaun, 900 minus 55x, and set it equal to the amount in Ashley's account, $990 minus 70x. 
that's all we have to do is just write this equation. We're not asked to solve it. All we have to do is write it. You're taking your two expressions and setting them equal to each other. On the back side, go ahead and try them for yourself. Pause the video and then come back to see how they look. An air traffic controller is tracking two planes. To start, plane A was at an altitude of 352 meters and plane B was just taking off. Plane A is gaining altitude at 14 meters per second and plane B is gaining altitude at 22 meters per second. Let X be the number of seconds that have passed. For each plane, write the expression for the altitude of the plane after X seconds. Altitude of plane A in meters, so let's start with that. Plane A was at an altitude of 352 meters, so that's where plane A is starting from. Plane A is gaining altitude at 14 meters per second. Gaining would be an addition problem. 14 meters and per second multiply by the number of seconds. Plane B was just taking off. So if plane B is just taking off, then it's not in the air yet, so its altitude is zero. It's right at the ground. Plus, it's gaining altitude at 22 meters per second. 22x. Now, do we really need that zero there? Probably not. Um, so Alex would accept these two answers as well. Part B, write an equation to show when the two planes would be at the same altitude. I'm going to take my expression from plane A and set it equal to my expression from plane B. And again, this doesn't ask me to solve. It just asks me to write that equation where the two planes are going to be up in the air at the same altitude. 